Neighbors is probably the most unique voice chat game on Roblox because unlike other hangout games, you are literally forced to have a conversation with someone. And if you don't really say anything or you're just straight up boring, you will get skipped. So sometimes it feels like you're playing a game of how long can I talk to this person before they get bored and skip me? And that's why I'm gonna show you today how to never run out of things to say in Roblox Neighbors. Now all the methods I'm gonna show you are gonna be relatively straightforward, but be sure to watch to the end of the video where I show you a method that's very easy to do and requires minimal effort. But without a doubt, my favorite method to use is doing a challenge. If you go on YouTube and search up Roblox Neighbors or even Roblox Voice Chat just to keep things more broad, there are tons of videos out there of YouTubers just doing the most random challenges. And within 10 seconds of scrolling, you'll most definitely find something to do. These things can all range from not allowing yourself to skip anyone, getting people to do face reveals, or trying to clear a bingo board that you made. These are all videos you can find on my channel, by the way. Or maybe you just have a favorite Roblox YouTuber and you could try to scroll through their videos if find yourself something to do. And the best part about this is that it's a super fun thing to record because you get the most unique reactions out of people and it's something that you can definitely look back on in the future. One thing that I'm personally not that really good at doing but it's still a very fun thing to do is role playing. Literally just think of any of your favorite cartoon or anime or video game characters and then just try your best to stay in character whenever you're talking to people. One thing cool about the Roblox marketplace is that you can search up any character that you want to be and there most likely will be a bunch of customization options that come up for you. You could even take it a step further and not say anything and just use a soundboard for everything you do. There was one time I was in a lobby with someone that was being Mario and he just had a soundboard of most of Mario's iconic voice lines and every time he jumped he would make the <laughs> sound. It was a super funny thing to see and because of that he got like the most attention out of everyone in the lobby. But of course if you don't feel like doing all that there's easier ways you can roleplay. Maybe you're just some angry guy with an attitude problem who responds negatively to everything. Or maybe you can pretend to be one of those TikTok AI thing. people. There are tons of different personalities and characters you can use without getting getting dressed up and once again I have a bunch of videos on the channel of me demonstrating this. Now I get that some of you guys may be on here because you just want to have a genuine conversation with someone and that's cool too but one thing I'd advise is do not be afraid to be controversial. Oscar Wilde once said give a man a mask and he'll tell you the truth. I bring this up because the people on here have no idea what you look like and are probably gonna forget about their interaction with you within a few yeah, weeks. Lies. So why not just say what's on your mind? For example if I ask you what your favorite movie is and you tell me it's Lion King I will straight up tell you that is the most boring and overrated Disney movie to ever exist and that I can't even tell you what happens in the movie because I was most likely already asleep by the time an important scene happened. By saying this, it will naturally incline the person you're talking to to defend the movie, which can lead to a little back and forth debate. This could also incline the other person to ask you, well, what's your favorite movie? In which, whatever answer you give them, they're most likely gonna try to find something wrong with it because, well, you just dissed their favorite movie. They say controversy creates cash, but in this case, it creates conversation which is good. It definitely would have led to a lot more conversation versus you just saying, oh, that's cool. Now, obviously, I'm not saying to just purposely disagree with everything the person is saying. And if you're mostly agreeing with everything the person has to say, try to set up some controversy. Maybe ask the person, what's your most controversial opinion? Or what's your biggest hot take? This one simple question could lead to three different things. It could stump the person and lead them to saying, hmm, I don't know, what's yours? In which, if you are gonna ask this question, I hope you already had something in mind. Or the person could say their hot take, which is actually something that you agree with and leads to that magical moment of no way you think so too what or it could lead to the best case scenario which is that they give you an opinion you disagree with which could then lead to you guys having a back and forth debate like i said earlier in the video but there is one rare scenario that i forgot to mention and that's if you don't even know what the person's take is which in that case you could then say something like whoa what, what is, is that? that and then the person will most likely be like what you don't know about this and then we'll start explaining the thing to you which leads me into my next tip which is to pretend to be interested now i know this makes come off as fake and not authentic, but just hear me out for a second because this is something you could actually apply to real life conversations as well. Most human beings naturally like talking about themselves. And when you seem interested in what they're saying or what they like to do, it will make them feel good about themselves. So with that being said, try to ask them some questions. Like if they're talking about anime and you've never watched anime before in your life, maybe ask them, should I get into anime? Or you could say, well, what makes anime so good compared to a regular cartoon? Even if you know that there's nothing they can say to convince you to start 
start watching anime. The fact that you even got them talking about something that they like will make them feel good about I themselves. Like you, it might even incline them to ask you what you like to do. One thing you do want to avoid though is going into interview mode, which is basically just asking a sequence of questions without building any real conversation with it. Like, what's your favorite anime? Okay, who's your favorite character? Well, what was your favorite episode? In between all these questions, try to add like a comment of some sort. Like, what's your favorite anime? Oh yeah, I think I've seen that somewhere before. Or, I've never heard of that. It doesn't even have to be a thought out comment. You could just straight up just say something like, wow, that sounds really cool. What's it about? Or, wow, that sounds really boring. But one thing that's not boring to a lot of guys that play this game, which is something you could do as well, is trying to get Rizzy. But unfortunately, I do not own the facilities to provide y'all with such information on how to do so. So instead, we're going to move on to the final method that I have for y'all that is so easy to do, yet so effective that it has led me to having hour-long conversations with people on this game. But before we get into that, y'all, if this video has been helping you out so far, consider dropping a like on the video. I also have a bunch of other Roblox Neighbors videos on the channel, as well as other Roblox voice chat videos as well. So if that's something you'd be interested in, consider subscribing to the channel. All right, so for this last method, what I'm gonna need you to do is turn into a little kid again, go to the most far right part of your brain, and just try to think of the most childish and acoustic question to ask someone. And while you're thinking about this question, imagine the voice in your head sounding like this kid. That you, um, you had, you... Except, you know actually form a sentence. Then, whenever you kind of run out of things to say or there's a little bit of awkward silence, just pop the question. I know this may seem stupid, but this works because it catches the person off guard and makes you look more interesting, making them want to talk to you more. Instead of just asking them something like, oh, well, what do you like to do? What's your job? Where do you work at? One of my personal go-to questions is, have you ever beaten the Ender Dragon before in Minecraft? And again, I know that sounds stupid, but this is a question I'm genuinely interested in hearing someone answer because me personally, I've played Minecraft for a long time and I have still never beaten the Ender Dragon in survival mode. And this ends up being a great conversation starter for people that are like me and play Minecraft but have never beaten the Ender Dragon before or even people that have beat it before and are just shocked that I played it for so long and never beat it. No joke, there was one time me and this one dude ended up talking for an hour off this one question because we would then talk about Minecraft YouTubers and other favorite YouTubers that we have and the games that those YouTubers played and if we've played those games before. But even if they've never played Minecraft before, this question can still lead to a lot of conversation because I can then ask, oh, well, do you play video games? You don't? Well, what do you like to do for fun? Read a book? Lame. Did you guys see how I was also trying to be controversial there? Take notes, y'all. And the best part about this question is that I could literally ask it to any new person that I meet and it will always lead to a new avenue of conversation. But unfortunately, this is not a foolproof guide on how to literally talk to anybody on this game. There are gonna be people on here that are simply just dry and boring. And if you wanna avoid being like one of those people, I highly encourage y'all to follow some of these methods instead of just joining the game with nothing to say in mind. And at the end of the day, that skip button is available to you too. But if you guys wanna see a good example on how I implemented some of these things in this video, click the video on screen.